I know it is. It's but dying. Yeah, I know it is. Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chicken. The big news is, oh wait, you already know it's Emmy week because things are just a little bit different. But what's the big news today? What? The... What? What's going on with the president? Oh, we were paying attention to the president? Oh, no, we are paying attention to Robert Wagner and NCIS that's coming up with this new season. Oh, I guess we better get back to news, huh? Anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. I mean, today, uh, Carl Rowe, all the Republican leadership, said the Republicans have to let the president have what he wants so that they can take the House and the Senate completely in 2014. And then the problem comes is, you know, I mean, they're balancing Sean Hannity from his job because he's too... Why? Uh, they don't like his statements that, uh, you know, because he says the truth about what's going on and he says the Republicans should stand up and be, you know, stop being gutless things. And um, so um, he basically said, if, if they don't, okay, you got, you got Mitt Romney and, um, and McCain all over again. The people will not vote for people that basically are giving a, a country to the president. So mm -hmm. if they don't come out, they not only will not get the Senate, they're going to lose the House also. So. And um, Obama agrees to staggered immigration plan as long as it is what he wants, not what the House wants. That's right. He basically says that he'll agree with the STEP program the Republicans has as long as it comes to the exact conclusion that he wants, which is uh, uh, the DREAM Act, um, you know, um, more people allowed to be a citizens of the United States, more people coming into the country, everything the Republicans are standing against for, he, he, you must agree to these things and then I'll agree to your immigration plan, which is actually his immigration plan. They also said, here's the trick, if the Republicans make any vote on it whatsoever and just don't kill it, the Senate will then take charge of it and basically do it on a, on a majority vote and as they have before, totally ignore what the House says and do it all on their own because reconciliation doesn't work. And former Obama chief of staff drops out of the race for Illinois governor. Because the state is fed up with the Democrats. I mean, uh, they're, all they do, their answer to everything is like all Democrats, is that, if, well, we need to have, if we spend more money, that will solve the problem. How do you get more money? You, type, you raise the taxes on the people that are now leaving the state of Illinois to go to the states next door. And government to declassify some secret court opinions. Like, like they've been saying, that it's not voluntarily. The court is pissed off at the fact that they have, Obama, okay, Obama doesn't care what the judges say. If it's a ruling in his favor, he latches on to it. If it's against him, he just ignores it. And Bombardier launches a new jetliner. I know, Bombardier basically is a... Uh, it's a minor league uh, air, air, airplane developer that makes uh, uh, makes good planes, but they're, I mean, the name Bombardier is back from World War II, folks. And British liberals aim to keep holding government at the 2015 poll. Um, they don't seem to understand. They're on the verge of losing it right now. They said that the, they, uh, they're about ready to throw out the prime minister. When the prime minister goes, the liberals go with him, and the conservatives come back into power. And teacher who sexually assaulted student may face a longer sentence. Not until, uh, not, not for some time in the future, because they said that, uh, here's the deal is, in, in the state of, in that state, they have a minimum sentencing for uh, people attacking people, and since they, here's one, well, since the girl is dead, they have no eyewitness now uh, to what happened, so therefore, it, the 30 days was probably more than enough punishment for what he did, considering it's now just innuendo against him. And court declines company request to block contraception mandate. That's right. Obama basically uh, threw more people. He threw Catholic businesses and um, church businesses under the wheels of his bus, saying that uh, you're going to have to pay for this, whether you whether or not, because I and it said up you when it comes to religion. It's not Muslim. And Massachusetts Attorney General Coakley to run for governor. Yeah, that's not a good sign because they're. They're unhappy how Massachusetts is being ran, so the Democrats are fighting among themselves to remove Patrick, who they don't think is, uh, Patrick isn't left enough for him, and Patrick is really left. And Senate Democrats eye new gun laws and action unlikely. 
Uh, well, yeah, the, the, they're basically this morning, they said if the Republicans had done this, Republicans would have done that. Republicans are totally, one wins. Republicans are responsible. Republicans basically aren't doing well. Okay, the problem is Republicans have done nothing but preach the fact that Obama basically will not let, the Democrats will not let mental health be listed as a means of not getting a gun. So if, if the majority of the people that are doing the killings are all mentally ill and they happen to be minority members or left, uh, well, it's because the Republicans. No, it's because the Democrats. And Ginsburg, gay marriage shows the Constitution's a genius. There's, the Constitution doesn't approve of gay marriage. It totally, there's nothing in the Constitution. Okay, the, the Constitution was written, uh, uh, marriage was meant to be between a man and a woman, not between uh, a woman and a horse, but that's basically what it's going to end up with. And the way they're doing it, you can't uh, change it. And the fact is that all of these people, uh, one gay individual after, they said the divorce rate among those people that have gotten married is higher than the divorce rate among any other group now. Oh, really? Yeah, because Why? they discovered that uh, marriage isn't something they really wanted. Then they found out, well, guess what happens when you get married? Your taxes go up. Oh, yeah, they forgot about that. It's called the marriage penalty, and the gay people are starting to discover that it, they get penalized like everybody else. Oh, my gosh. And then they also realized that they had other benefits like child support yeah. that they hadn't thought about. Yep. And OT, minimum wage, extended to health care workers. Oh, yeah. The President of the United States just gave 2 million people a higher minimum wage by executive order. The whole trick is now it's going to spread. He, th he said that they needed, okay, they're already making a god-awful fortune in the healthcare industry, but they needed a fair living wage, and now the president has set a living wage at more than $15 an hour. Ooh. Yep. And Merkel rejects Ellen Coalition Partners' bid for help. Well, yeah, but what it is is she's going right down the toilet. They basically... She was the most prosperous country in Europe, and she busted the country. I know, that's really sad. Yeah, but she's a liberal, that's what happens. And Yahoo reports 29,000 data requests. Which everybody knows is pure BS, because they, you what must you add many, requests? you have to add many zeros to that request. That's the federal government requesting stuff. Oh. 29,000, they said, is a farce, because one of the people said it, one of the people that have been fired at Yahoo said that, uh, Add six zeros to that, and you still don't come close. Six zeros? Yeah. Ooh. Said virtually they've requested information on virtually everybody that does business with Yahoo. Oh my gosh. And, uh, yeah. Syria and Russia join forces on punitive UN resolution plan. Yeah, they're not going to. The, the, the whole thing is a farce. The Russians are going to veto any any use of military force on Syria as a result of Syria being, you know, uh, being this benevolent. Well, Syria basically has moved everything from the spaces that the United States knows they're at, and they're going to go to the eight places the United States knows, and they're going to find stockpiles, mm -hmm. but they're going to find nothing else. And Colorado probes three deaths possibly linked to synthetic marijuana. Uh, like did anybody, anybody, only the Democrats. And people like Bill O'Reilly and um, and Raul Rivera think that selling marijuana is a good idea because it can bring money in for the states. No, because it's cheaper to get it elsewhere, folks. And I've never heard of synthetic marijuana. No, yeah, you just take uh, you can you can grow anything. It's just it's synthetic is more is stronger than the normal stuff, and they're just buying the the, the bigger stuff because it gives them bigger highs. Oh. And Obama to send gas masks to Syrian rebels when they are available. We don't make them anymore. We make them in so low a quantity that we don't have enough to send. So you can what? get. I know. Well, because um, basically gas masks are no longer turned out in Israel. They build them, but we don't use them in our, in our military anymore. So. And Twitter buys MoPub for $350 million to up the ante in mobile advertising. I don't know. I've checked that site out. It would do. It does us no good. You, it's basically for advertisers, not for people needing advertising. What? Yeah, it's basically a place that they put advertising. They, they basically, uh, uh, advertisers come, they buy time, and then they uh, hope that it's going to be put on things that are going to benefit them. Mm. It's totally useless. And a Monty bubbleism from the um, Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom.